And we're happy now to welcome you, Gary Carr, on to our new set, Holton News. Thank you for being here today. My pleasure. Beautiful set, by the way. Thank you. Yes, we've been working hard on it. I'm glad you like it. And as the regional chair, we're really happy to have you here, and we hope that we can have you here more often to bring updates for our viewers. For example, you're going to file a motion in November. Can yes. you tell us about that? What we're going to do is the province uh, has cut some of the funding for some of our programs, uh, some of the public health, as well as not providing some of the development charges. So what happens as a result of that, about 10% of the property tax uh, regional portion it goes to pay for programs that the province should be uh, funding. So as we continue to grow, it's going to get worse. We're the fastest growing region in all of Canada. And that's 10% off of everyone's... Exactly, which is huge. Your property, property tax, tax after uh, mortgages probably your second highest uh, uh, expenditure. So I'm introducing a motion in November uh, which will freeze all development in Halton region so there'll be no new growth until the province has fixed their funding problem with the uh, with the region. Because the province has mandated quite a significant growth for the region so you're proposing to put a freeze on that until they are going to pay yes, their Yes and they're portion. the ones under place to grow have basically told us to double from 500,000 to a million but what they haven't done is provided all of the service. So for example example in Milton they're not going to put all day go service up there they, we met with the Minister of Education she can't commit to putting new schools in Northeast Oakville and until they get that fixed uh, we're going to say we're going to put a, a hold on the growth and then when they start to fund some of these programs then we'll continue to do that but it's not fair for anybody living in Halton region to subsidize the province and the developers when hard-working families and seniors on fixed income are struggling to make ends meet and they don't meet their uh, financial financial obligations. Now among other things, if this freeze does go through, then Glen Abbey won't be able to develop? Yes, it would be everything uh, involved in uh, any new growth uh, coming in. It would include all of the intensification as well. Um, and under places to grow, they're saying you're going to go to a million people, but they're not giving the resources we need. We understand they have a financial problem, but that's not our fault, and it's certainly not the hardworking people in uh, Halton's fault, and we are not going to allow them to start to pay for all of the things that the province should be paying for and uh, as well as some of the developers on the development charges. Now you would like to hear from some of our viewers on this matter so we're going to put up your contact information. Okay. Um, you had suggested that they could email you. You're looking for people to make delegations. Yep, if somebody has supported that or they want any more information, they can contact me, gary.car at halden.ca. I can send them more information. Uh, once the resolution is done, I will send it out to them. I have to send it out to the councillors first and all of the mayors because they'll be voting on it. And they can either come uh, and ask questions about it or if they want to come out and delegate in support of it, we'd be pleased to see them out at the region. Okay, thank you so much for coming here Our today. We look so forward to seeing you again soon. Uh, thank you.